This video is for the novice who may be hesitant to modify their equipment for the first time. So, if that's you, let's get into it. You will need four casters, which can be purchased for a few bucks each at your local big box hardware store. A handful of short wood screws, a screwdriver, or, if you have one available, a drill or impact driver such as this one. I like this particular style of caster because it lets us avoid drilling holes in the bottom of the amp. I advise buying two casters with locking mechanisms like this for the front, and two that don't lock for the rear. The screws I am going to use are these short wood screws with a wide head. These will allow us to maximize the area of contact on the caster plate without penetrating to the bottom of the amp and into the interior where the reverb tank sits. I am not going to bother with removing the existing feet on the amp. Instead, I will use them as a guide for uniform caster placement. From here, there really isn't much to it now that you have the correct hardware and fasteners. Line them up and screw them in, locking in the front and non-locking in the rear. In case you did not have a drill handy, here is proof that you can use a screwdriver just as easily, but not quite as quickly. I advise placing the casters as close to the front and back as possible to avoid the amp becoming top heavy when the front casters are locked. The distance to the sides will not be as crucial since the dimensions of the amp create a shape that is much more stable side to side compared to front to back. The main thing to avoid is stripping the screw threads in the wood. Don't over tighten. As soon as you get some resistance, you are good to go. When installed like this, these casters will be suitable for most musicians. They will not be quite as resilient to a hard impact as the caster style with a post that requires drilling a hole through the bottom of the amp, but if you're beating your equipment up like that, then you probably didn't click on this thumbnail. Alright, thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you found this video helpful.